Hello, my name is Derek, and today I'm going to be teaching you about the extrude button in Solid Face. So let's dive right in. If you look up to your left, you'll notice the extrude button. If you click on it, it will open up a different range of features and modifiers that you can select. We have extrude boss, extrude cut, and extrude surface, and then we can choose to use a profile or a face, which is your most common. You can choose text, which allows you to emboss or engrave text along an object. Vector direction, which allows you to follow a offset uh, vector in, for your extrusion if you want to make an angle extrusion. Extrude from, if you want to extrude from a face. Extrude up, if you want to extrude to a face. Your start profile by distance, which allows you to type in a distance. And enable direction to allows you to go in two separate directions. So I'm going to go ahead and have by distance, profile face, and I'm going to select my rectangle here. Now there's two different ways you can do this. You can either type in a direction in direction 1, which is also known as the positive direction. For example, 0.5. I'll hit apply. And you can see that the shade representation of my part has increased by a half an inch in the vertical. I can also click on this arrow right here, this blue arrow that pops up, and drag it manually. So, for example, if I was just going to create a part really quick and I didn't worry about the precision of it, I can drag this and create a part that way. So I'm going to go back down to 0.5 and I'm going to hit apply and OK and green check. As you can see here I have a solid face. I have a solid part. 3 inches by 3 inches by a half inch. Alright so what if you want to use the other features of the extrude such as extrude cut? Well first you need to have a profile by which you want to cut so I'm going to go ahead and hit sketch and I'm going to click on this face. Alright, so as you can see, I've created an origin along this face. I'm going to go ahead and use Arc Circle. And I'm just going to drag it out in unknown distance. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit green check on my sketch. Now I'm going to go back to the Extrude button, and I'm going to select Cut instead of Boss. So if I select this profile, you can see that Direction 1 is actually in negative Z in direction 2 is in positive Z. So I have 0.5 is my direction 1 which since our part was only 0.5 thick cuts cleanly through our part. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply, OK, and green check. And now I have a neat and tidy hole in the center of my part. And that is how to use the extrude button in SolidFace. Thanks for watching.